Storm Pilot, what would you like to say? Hi, Harris. How are you? Very good, thank you. Man, you're so busy. I mean, you're, I, I don't get even a chance to talk to you. Oh, well, you've got a chance today. All right. Yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Sure. Do you know uh, Maria Kiptia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was not one in the in in the war or anything like that. She was a nah. gifted woman. Yeah, by the Egyptian. So how woman, could he how could Egyptian. he sleep with her without she... getting married to her? Mm, that's a very good point because mm, Muslims will first of all say, "Well, he wasn't having." They sex always with her. say she was a slave, slave girl, slave girl. Slaves are only who are won in the war. But she was gifted by a guy, a Egyptian guy, some a priest or someone. No, you're not Egyptian king. He, he, he no, it wasn't he gave... a king. It wasn't a king. Was it? Okay. it was appointed by a king, some uh, religious person, Makukas. That was his title. So he sent two ladies, one donkey and another male slave. Yeah. Hmm. So according to Yasser Qazi, He's saying probably he got married to her when she was pregnant or maybe when she delivered a child. But prior to that, when he went to Hafsa's house, and uh, there are two versions. One is that he said to her, your dad is calling you. And the second oh, yeah. is maybe she was not there. Yeah, we've but I this can realize that when she went to see her dad. And dad said, I didn't call you. She must have said, like Pakistani woman, Haiwa Margi, because Muhammad was with the, with the slave in the house. Well, when so she, she went, went back, back, she, she ran found back. him on the bed. She found him yeah. on the bed and, and he he's was doing the, he's doing the business. He, had, he was preaching her there. So that was, how could he do that without marriage? I'm asking you this question. Oh, no, no. There's no, there's no dispute on that. They say you, he, can, he, he can do it with a slave girl. So, no, but she because... was not a slave girl. She was a gifted woman. No, no, no. no. So she was given and gifted as a slave. Yes, but she was not one in the war. Yeah, no, but it doesn't have to be. Because, Why? Um, because a lot of slaves were actually exchanged. There's a plenty of uh, hadiths where slaves were exchanged. No, no, no. no. Muslims, they give, the Muslims, they give a criterion. They say if a woman is one in the war. But she was not. No, but they no, but there's so many. Well, I don't know about which Muslim is saying that, but it, I think the fiqh is quite clear on that. That uh, you could you could sell slaves. I mean, Prophet Muhammad himself sold many, bought many. All okay, these people who were selling and okay, buying many. Selling the slave is something else, and sleeping is another issue. No, no, no. But once you have no, no. But you are exchanging those slaves. You're selling. This. If I have a slave girl, I might have won in a battlefield, or I might have uh, gotten it. Uh, you know, like through. Uh, uh, I, I own the father of that slave. If I have the slave, I can gift it to you. So, and, okay. and, so it's your slave girl now. Like, but okay. I probably for, want it in the war. For ordinary person, it's okay. But for not a prophet, prophet of a god. No, no. Well, yeah, obviously, so the whole business of slavery is crap. But I'm just saying, though, it, it's not in contradiction with Islamic fiqh. It doesn't say that the prophet can't do it. Yes, it's very poor. You know, he, it, it, technically speaking... She wasn't even Prophet Muhammad's slave. She was Hafsa's slave. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Uh, well, that's why it's a very embarrassing story. They, I think Ibn Kathir says that this is a story. And then some other say that, no, it was about the honey. <laughs> the, the following verses, chapter 65, that came in. The first four or five verses that came in that um, Allah was That's a made-up story. They, they were trying to cover it up. It doesn't make sense. I mean, but the honey, that many verses... Said, even Yasser Qazi said... In the Quran, the Quranic verses don't agree with it. It doesn't go with it, you know. Yeah. That version that it was honey, all about her. Oh, he say now I I tell you, don't tell anyone. He said to Afsar, don't tell anyone. And then he <laughs> Over goes honey. Back, <laughs> yeah, and then he goes back. Oh, uh, I says to Afsar, oh, did you tell anyone? Obviously, you must have found through Asha's attitude or what she must have yeah. told him. And he says to go back to her. Why yeah. did you tell and she's saying who told you? And he said, Oh, the who knows everything in the heart. He's saying, Oh, he told me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and Prophet Muhammad is and, and Muhammad is saying, Oh, I will make it haram on me, and then he reneges on his exactly. presence. Exactly. And Allah me and Allah Allah gives him verses. No, no, no. You Allah is getting to, involved over a honey. 
Over honey. No, no, but Muhammad, uh, you don't will, have to. Who will stop? Who will say don't eat uh, honey? Come on. Come on. You, um, that, yeah, so anyway, yeah, that's a bullshit story, but it, it, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I, okay. I, I can't buy that. But anyway, that, we got we to gotta present the, uh, the other counter argument as well. This is one of the worst counter arguments that they give as far as this is concerned. But, and but the, the other part is, but, 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 look at, but look at the deception. I mean, I just can't get over it. What a man. I just, he goes, Muhammad comes in the room to his wife, Hafsa, on, his, on her turn. He looks at her, ooh, nice girl. Hey, Hafsa, how do I, how do I get rid of my wife? Because she wouldn't let me do that cheeky, cheeky business with him. He goes, hey, hey, Hafsa, your daddy's calling you. Okay, daddy, I'm coming. And like, all right, boom, boom, he's doing it. And she catches him in the middle of the act. <laughs> I think he's, she he's, was... She must be the first woman who ran marathon in the Medina, you know, when she... Yeah, it would have been only a couple of houses away, but <laughs> for 20 minutes, but uh, I, I don't know, but, but that shows Prophet Muhammad lasted 20 minutes. Or he might have spent some few minutes chatting her up. Hey, you look very nice. What's your name? Come but sit on my... Come sit on daddy's lap. <laughs> so the proof is it's not the honey because he made her pregnant afterwards. Well, I don't think the, the, it's... Uh, the, Abdullah was his son. I mean, how could he only impregnate her? Because, see, this is the thing. Now, this is my, obviously, I'm just assuming that my theory is running wild. So he had these 13 plus wives and multiple sex slaves. None of them bore him children. None of them. This That's one true. woman who bears him a child, Maria Kiptia, and she's a slave girl. So it's possible someone else might have been plowing her as well. That's, That's why they were looking for a guy. They were looking for a guy who's done it, you know? Ali went after him. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking, is this is this verse? I don't know. Tell me about this. Is this hadith related to that event? Oh, now delaying the hard punishment for the case of women who have just given birth. Oh, people impose the prescribed punishment upon your slaves. So... Uh, for a slave woman belonging to Allah's messenger had committed adultery and he committed me to flog her. Now he committed Abdul Rahman to flog her or Ali to flog her. But she had recently given birth to a child and I was afraid that if I flogged her, I might kill her. So I mentioned to Allah's mess apostle and I said, you've done well. So obviously, I, I don't think it's Maria Kipti. It must be someone else. But the point no, is... No, that's someone else. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, but someone else. But again, one of the Prophet's slave women ended up being pregnant and that's how they found out that she had committed adultery so how did they know for a fact that prophet muhammad or maybe muhammad was doing quetus interruptus al azal <laughs> no 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 he was trying his best to have a male uh, a kid you know he was trying his best he couldn't get it no but he didn't he have could... daughters either after uh, no Khadija. no no it's a big thing for other people you know to have a son but he was trying his best and if the people say prophet muhammad get up get up, get up johnson <laughs> no prophet muhammad can listen to your prayers even and he couldn't even save his own child he was crying he died ibrahim died Mm. Oh, Ibrahim, died. Abdullah, sorry. Yeah, Ibrahim. Yeah. The Ibrahim died, the, 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 you know, the, the kid, kid from Maria? Maria, yeah, yeah. And Maria he was crying, he couldn't even save her. So people say, oh, no, God listens to the praise. No, but... And I he, think... Yeah, but they can always well, say, they can always say that um, God will that. What was, what was one of Muhammad's wife's name? She actually was divorced over a comment like that. She said... Oh, what kind of a prophet would not be able to save his own son? Uh, he yeah. must be a false prophet. So she 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 uh, said that she said that to someone, and that wife told on her to Muhammad, and Muhammad said, "Divorce, get out." <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so, so, it, it, when I think about it, it, it's not entirely brutal within the household, and we've seen that amongst dictators. Now, I, I'm. I've read Stalin in quite a bit, bit of detail. You know, Stalin, who was not shy of writing these execution lists and sending millions of people to gulags and to uh, to executions, he, as brutal as he was with the Ukraine, with with the man-made famines in Ukraine of the thirties, etc., where one order he would write an order, he would know that people are going to have immense suffering. But Stalin himself was quite a bit of a, uh, you know, he was quite afraid of Nadiejda, his wife. Um, there, There is a, that Simon Seberg Montefiore says that he was, 
when this um when Nadezhda found out about this immense suffering of Ukrainian people dying of starvation because of the orders of collectivizations of uh, of of Stalin she um she was telling him off that you hurt people you kill people and he locked himself in a bathroom he was he was cowering in the toilet and see Simon Seebeck's bio, biographer he says this, this thought that this strong man Stalin literally means man of steel this strong man who could kill so many people was so afraid of his wife in there but, but then there's another story afterwards he actually got sick of it and probably killed her <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's not actually confirmed that whether he killed her or not he or he pushed her to suicide but muhammad himself as well like as i said when aisha was accused of adultery he actually showed a lot of restraint you know he wasn't like a brutal king who would be like behead her like king henry the eighth king henry the eighth um what was his wife's name um very famous annabelle something anyway um she he he executed her but muhammad did not do that he he was quite a no my uh, prophet he went into depression though for a whole month that's fine but i'm saying he, he didn't let it aloof. out he was but staying saying... aloof mm. he was not talking to anyone and then you know god, god took one whole month so if god has to make everything clear why they were investigating then? Mm. You know, they done every all this sort of investigation, and then the words comes. No, she is clear. No, no, she hasn't done anything. How is that? Yeah, well, right at the end, after twenty days, twenty yeah, days. Yeah, but later. everything they have asked everyone, and okay, then she's she hasn't done anything. You know, so then the words is coming. Oh, no, no, she's okay. You know, even until done. the last minute. Even exactly. until the last minute, you know, like even until the moment when he goes, um, he was actually sitting there. He came to the house again. Did you do it? Did you do it? And she was crying. No, if I, if I don't confess, you're not going to believe me. But if I confess, then I'm, I'll be guilty of something that I haven't done. And he's just thinking. And then all of a sudden, at that very moment, all of a sudden, he's interrogating. 20 seconds later, he has his epilepsy fit or whatever. He goes, oh, good news, Aisha. Hey, hey yeah. you're innocent. Yeah, yeah. Now let's flog this. And men. what a kind of character is this? That Anne Boleyn. Uh, Anne like, Boleyn. He Anne Boleyn. He's a, he executed Anne, Anne Boleyn. Boleyn. That's Thanks. Thanks. You know what kind of character is that? I mean, you tell me. A young girl, Javeria, ended up on his door. Yeah. yeah I was going to tell a story. Yeah, I'll tell a story next week. I'll tell a story next week. Anyway, okay. I, should I, I not talk about, about it then? No, no, no. I'm going to tell a story. I'll tell a story next week. Maybe you can talk about it next week. Okay. All right. I'm not going right. to spoil it for you. All right, thank you, Storm. Thank you. Thank All right, you. then take care. Huh? All right. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.